Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. When you're in my line of work, when you have this as a side hobby, hustle, a way to drain all of your sleep, etc., a side PTSD source, uh, you have ethics to think about with every video. Uh, now, sometimes I'll take a stance on a channel that some might think is unethical, like Kabam, where I'll, I'll show a private correspondence that somebody has given me permission to use between themselves and, say, a, uh, a help ticket. This happened this weekend with the person that heard from Kabam saying, oh, Paragon stamps are a changing. Stay tuned for exciting news, which also means all those Thronebreaker stamps you bought uh, purely because you thought they were Paragon stamps are not going to be refunded to you and you're still going to be liable for those purchases as we continue to look for a Paragon daily special but a Thronebreaker daily special is of course the top one uh, we assume I'll say this for a final time we assume that we are going to get back a Thronebreaker stamp card selector as Paragon members since a Paragon Daily Special is on the horizon, but who knows. With that being said, ethically I have chosen to not show accounts of several images that have been sent to me by concerned players over what is essentially right now a mod to legend title offer behind the scenes by certain people in the community. Now, let me be clear. There are two ways that people are advertising services, right? There are There's the usual way where somebody gets paid X amount of dollars to log into an account and do it the uh, good old fashioned legal-ish way. Now you could say it's not legal for somebody to log into your account. Um, it's more legal in terms of actually uh, using units and revives and potions to have somebody do that than it is to run a mod system where somebody has like a million overall rating maybe less than that and they're blowing through item free from a hack now are either uh technically legal no both are breaking the terms of service i want to make that clear but that is the reality of what uh, several players are feeling like is a cheapening of the legend title overall because if you do all 25 rooms of the threat level six you get the legend title along with some decent rewards including a six star awakening gym crystal which of course for the first time ever we actually get from the side quest just by doing like 108 i think completed fights with the right champions tagged and there's two different groups of champions and as a reminder i used Mostly for the first group, Omega Red, and then the second group, Corvus. And that worked. Now, look, I'm very tempted to throw whatever amount of units it takes to get a Legend title. I have rank 4 Sig 200 Hercules. I could throw in him as a Herald like some people have done. I could throw him in uh, with Heimdall eventually. I could bring in my SIG 200 rank 4 Captain America Infinity War. Now, of course, there are going to be plenty of node combinations that still wreck me regardless. I saw uh, Icarus. There, the other day, yesterday, I saw... <coughs> I'm apparently allergic, allergic to Icarus when I talk about it. Icarus, uh, Safeguard, and um, um, Life Cycle. That wrecked me. And I was just like, I'm done with this stupid stuff. And this was like room nine, you know, not even that high up. So who knows? But what I do know is that Kabam has a huge problem on its hands with modders advertising services to get any account, regardless of question to legend status. And for the people I trust that I know have done it legally, it's taken them about 1,500 units and the right chance. Now, in the grand scheme of things, that's not much. When you consider that 1,500 units buys five, probably three and four stars from Cavalier Featured Crystals. So again, knowing that, by the end of the month, 
I am tempted to get my real, for the first time ever, Legends title, but it's tough to know there are people out there that are somehow, at least for the moment, getting away with just modding the game and not having Kabam detect it in order to get their Legends title. And so many of you, over the years, who've gotten Legends titles, whether it be by the event quest time or something else, yeah, I would be a little bitter too if I saw this happening and people getting the same. So... Kabam has a huge problem on their hands with modders. Uh, not that that's different than usual because of things like Battlegrounds, but this is a whole new opportunity. And if they turn a blind eye to it, I think it's really going to cheapen not only the title, but just, well, the entire reputation of them, which has taken a hit already this year. If there even is a way to go, lower. So, that is the news for this weekend. Thanks for the feedback. I made the decision to not show any of the accounts in question. There are a lot that are legends, but you look at their accounts and you say, how? How is that possible? Well, we know how possible it is, unfortunately. And if Kabam doesn't do anything about it, it'll remain the same. 